average speed is the total distance traveled for the object in question divided by the total elapsed time taken to travel the distance. The average speed formula is average speed equals total distance divided by total elapsed time. You can calculate the average speed for any type of motion if you can time the motion and measure the distance. To calculate the average speed of an object, you must know the total distance an object travels and the total elapsed time of its journey. The distance, speed, time, triangle is a handy tool for calculating speed, distance, and time because you can set the three parts inside the triangle in their correct positions mathematically. To get average speed, S, divide total distance by elapsed time. To get elapsed time, T, divide total distance by speed. To get distance, D, multiply speed times the amount of time. Say you want to find the average speed of a Pacific bottlenose porpoise. You are told that they can move 89 kilometers in three hours. Plug those two given numbers into the triangle in their corners to get S equals 81.7 kilometers divided by three hours equals 29.9 kilometers per hour. If you know two of the three variables, distance, time, and speed, then you can use algebra to find what you're missing. If you need to know the total time, you must have the distance and speed. You plug those two scalar quantities into their parts of the triangle to get T equals 99.7 kilometers divided by 99.9 .9 kilometers per hour, which equals three hours. If you need the total distance, you must have the speed and the time. D equals 29.9 kilometers per hour times three hours, which equals 89.7 kilometers. Remember that average speed is often derived from units of distance or time that must convert into other units for the final answer. Common conversions are to multiply units per second by 60 to get units per minute, and then times that by 60 again to get units per hour. Make sure your answer is given in the correct unit of time. Practice what you've learned with the example problems at the bottom of the page. You can always come back to the video for help.